Hey everyone, this is going to be an overheating test between the Xperia XA, the Xperia X, and the Xperia X Performance versus the other Xperia phones you see here. So over here I have the Z3 Compact, the Z3V, the Z5 Compact, the Z5, the Z5 Premium, the M5, and the Z3 Plus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these cameras on 4K mode, except for the Xperia X series which does not support 4K. Alright guys, so I have all these other phones ready for 4K mode. Now on the X-Series, we don't have 4K unfortunately, so I'm going to do the next best option. So for the X performance, I'm going to do uh, 30 frame, or 60 frames per second full HD. For the X, it is going to be... Oops, put it on video. The X is going to be the same. So full HD, 60 frames per second, alright, and then the XA only supports uh, full HD, 30 frames per second, so that's what I'm going to go with. Alright guys, so let's go get started. And all these phones are on airplane mode and all the apps are closed out. Alright, and just at around five and a half minutes, the Z3V has a warning that the phone is starting to overheat. And I'll let you know when that's finished. Alright, and the Z3V is already done at around 8 minutes, 8 minutes 20 seconds or so. Alright, and it looks like the M5 has showed up unexpectedly. Uh, that's happened for the last couple of times I've done this test, so uh, I think that there's some type of issue with the phone there. And that was at around 12 minutes. Oh wow, and so we're already getting an X warning message uh, at around 14 minutes in. Alright, and now we are getting a warning message on the Z3 Compact at 17 minutes. Not good to see there. The Xperia X performance now is a warning message. Uh, 18 and a half minutes in. And the Z3 Plus has a warning message as well. Oh, and there we go. The X just finished. Oh, only around 19 minutes. And the Z3 Compact finishing about a minute later, 20 minutes. Alright, and now we have a Z5 Compact warning message at 28 minutes and a Z5 Premium warning message as well. Alright, and the X Performance just finished, uh, close to 29 minutes. I'll talk more at the end about it. Um, of course, it's not apples to apples because it's running full HD, 60 frames per second. Whereas uh, everything besides the X series is running 4K mode. So I gotta say, really not impressive at all for the X performance, but at least it did better in the X. And the Z3 Plus is done as well. Alright, and the Z5 Premium is finished at around 34 minutes.
All right, MZ5 Compact just finished at 39 minutes. And we're getting a warning message now on the Z5. All right, and the Z5 just finished at around 45 minutes. Uh, so we'll see how long the XA goes. All right, and it actually looks like the XA just finished. Um, let me check real quick, because we didn't get any overheating message. Uh, it might be a memory issue. This is only has 16 gigabytes of storage. All right, so no, it was not a storage issue. Uh, there's still free space on here. All right, guys, so I've done this test a lot of times in the past, and the results are very consistent with what I've seen before. So let's go over the leaderboard. Now you see the Z3V did the worst. Uh, the M5 had 10 minutes, 23 seconds. Now I know some of you guys are going to ask if it was a memory issue. It wasn't. There's still a lot of storage on there. Uh, the X. Now I put an asterisk next to it because the X and the X performance. Of course we're not recording in 4K mode. We're recording, uh, recording 60 frames per second full HD. Uh, Z3 compact after the X, the X performance. Now it's worth noting that at least the X performance did uh, about 50% better than the X. The Z3 Plus finished slightly better than the X performance. Uh, and then the Z5 series remains king. And the XA, I put two asterisks next to it. Uh, at least for the XA, you know that you can record at the maximum, uh, the maximum resolution and you won't have overheating issues. At least you won't for over an hour. Now let's actually look at some of these files. So, just for reference, we'll do look at the uh, Z5. Do you see here? 17, 17 17.5 gigabytes. All right. And then the X, only 3.64. The X performance, 6.14. And the XA, 6.14. So as I said in the last video when I did this test with the X, uh, my theory is that Sony disabled 4K mode on purpose on the X series. Um, I think that the X and the X performance are definitely capable of 4K, uh, but I think that Sony intentionally removed it because the camera does overheat. Um, 29 minutes for the X performance, uh, it could definitely be better. And I will say that on the positive side, uh, you saw that the Z3 Plus finished at around 29 minutes, 45 seconds. Now, the first few times I did this test, like when the phone first came out, it did a lot worse than that. And that's because Sony made a lot of optimizations, which fixed some of the overheating issues. So hopefully we'll see that with the X series. Now with the Z5 series, Sony made hardware adjustments uh, to keep it from overheating. And they definitely worked well for that. Uh, with the X series, of course, it doesn't appear that's the case, um, which is unfortunate, but hopefully we'll at least be able to see some optimization moving forward, and hopefully next time we do this test, we'll see some improvements. All right, guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. This is just one of many tests I have planned for the Xperia X series, so please stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'll have a lot more videos coming. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and please let me know in the comment section what type of video you want to see next.